Right, hi everybody and welcome back to Lundy's Wildcam Stroke Bushcraft. There's no walking at all because I'm right next to the edge of the woods. Um, it's very windy. I think it's about between 25 and 35 mile an hour winds uh, today until, until like afternoon time. So I'm just going to bear with it. But today I've been testing out the um, Kit Pimp Pathfinder 150 litre Bergen. Obviously as you can see I've took the side panels off and I've got it on with me webbing. It's so much comfier, but obviously I've still got quite a lot of weight on it. So I'm, I'm feeling it a little bit because um, I've had quite a walk. It's about a 25 minute walk um, from the car to the edge of the woods. So I'm feeling a little bit knackered and a little bit warm. So I'm gonna get this Bergen off me back and then I'm gonna think about setting up a tarp somewhere just to um, block out the wind. And then I'm gonna look at making a a bushcraft bed and hopefully get started on a shelter build as well. I'm out for two nights, three days, solo, so hopefully I can get a lot of work done and uh, see what happens. So now you wait, I'm going to stop waffling, get this pack off and I'll catch you in a bit. And thanks for watching, don't forget, give it a thumbs up. Happy days. Right, well, that's me back in the centre of the woods, and this is where I camped last week. All right, as you can see, it got quite muddy here. It's all dried out though, and that's the channels I had to dig, like scraping anyway to get all the water coming off. But as you can see, there's tons of stuff. There's a bird of prey just coming to the woods before there. I think it's just went out on the edge there now. But as you can see, there's loads of big piles of um, the lower limbs off the trees all right around here so it's a bit of a about a about a two minute walk to the edge of the woods and anyway so to come and collect loads of bits and pieces like this to use so that's happy days like but just a little bit further in <coughs> i showed you this last week as you can see it's still a little bit clotty up here so but it's nice and dry over there but the only thing is you can't really feel the wind in here but you can on the edge that's one of the downsides of it, hence why I'm going to build a barrier wall. But just starting from here, you've got all these piles of logs, this pile of logs here, which you can all get used. It's got some nice poles there for making stakes with. And then we've got loads of it coming all the way down the woods here, look. So all I need to do is, I need to find two decent bits um, for to make me long bits to put me to put through my canvas bed and uh, the rest will be dead dead straightforward. That's the main thing is find the first two bits and making sure they're long enough as well. So it's got to be about one and a half lengths of my body, like my height, and they've got to be thick enough and strong enough to be able to get through the canvas and also to take my weight, which isn't that much, believe it or not. <laughs> Right, well, that's me finished carrying a lot of logs over. I think I've got enough material and more for what I need to do today before I need to start getting firewood prepped but um, and obviously building a bed and putting a barrier wall up at the side of the shelter. But for starters, we've got these three here. They'll be earmarked for building my two walls where I put my uh, cross beams on for the bed. And then I've got all this lot here loads of different mix and matches one of them is going to be one of my peams for going across i've just mixed them all up i can't remember which one it was and then i've seen this dead standing pine tree it's a perfect length and a perfect thickness for what i need and it gets a little bit thin up the top end but it should be strong enough like i'd say it'll go about there i think that's about my body length them bits there so that should be ideal but uh First of all, because I've just stopped, I've got my bandana on. It's to keep my head warm, but also stop my head from uh, getting too too hot. The woolly hat was just too much. I've got a bottle here, it's a Lucas Aid bottle, just full of water. And all these pouches have got water in and food and alcohol. 
So yeah, great bit of kit that mind. If you're into webbing and you want a, a recommendation for a great bit of kit, check out JJ's Commander's webbing. And you can also get other ones as well, but they are they're perfect, dead comfy. So anyway, the wind's starting to calm down a little bit. It's still breezy. It's still nice and sunny outside, blue skies. I don't know if you can see through the trees. We've got some nice blue skies out there, but that wind's still a bit rough. As you can see the trees. Swaying around. Have double checked all the trees to make sure it's safe. And it is. But when you're in the centre of the woods, up the top there where I've got me wood from, um, it's about two, three hundred, well, about three, four hundred metres into the woods. You kind of hardly feel the wind. It's just a pity that it gets a bit boggy in there. If it didn't get boggy in there, it'd be perfect. But anyway, waffle, waffle. Time to get some wood cut, start making a bed. And then once I've got that done, make a wall and then get some firewood done. Happy days. It's about half past, half past 12 or something, one o'clock. Let's have a look and see quickly. Actually, I, it's 10 to 1. So I've got about, what, five hours before it gets dark. So anyway, waffle, waffle. See you in a bit. Right, well, canny bit of time's went and passed. Uh, it's, it's been non-stop like, so I'll just quickly show you the, the mess I've got at the moment. So basically I've got me, me slats to go on the cross beams, like these ones here. And I've, what I've done is I've took all the bark off, took all the lumps and bumps off, all the knuckles and that. And then I've done the same with two long poles I've got. I've set my bed out ready and uh, just so I can get like make sure the ground's level underneath first and then I've got a load of pegs made there I didn't do it all on camera you have seen us doing one of these beds before if you're new to the channel go and check out my latest my earlier videos and I've got a load there as well <coughs> so hopefully I'll not need all these cross beams and then what I can do I can just put these to one side for when I make uh, Rooney's bed all the wood that I've dragged over Obviously, I've got loads of them cut right down now because um, I've been taking all the thin ends off to make the make the um, make the pins, and then I've got a couple of bits there. And uh, unexpected visitor turned up, and I pooed my pants when he come round the corner of my top. So Rooney's tipped up, so he's just busy getting set up up the top there. So we'll have a chat with him later because uh, I need to get my bed made. The winds calmed down a hell of a lot as well. It's still nice and sunny outside, which is great. And the, uh, the wet stuff hasn't turned up yet. It was supposed to, but it hasn't, thank God. So I'm just gonna start putting me bed together. I might have to take me top down like, but we'll see if I can just leave it up for now. All right, so let's get cracking, get this bed up. And then the next task will be is sorting out the fireplace and then get some firewood. It's getting on now as well. It's now quarter to four. I've been doing this for hours, prepping all the wood off camera. It takes a long time, everybody. If you've made one of these beds before, getting the wood, sourcing it, prepping it, doing all the bits and pieces, it takes hours, like a good two hours, three hours worth of work. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be worth it because I'm gonna be nice and comfy the night. So now you waffle, waffle. I'll catch you in a bit. Right, well, hi everybody. That's more time gone by now. It's now five to five at night. Um, Rooney's just finishing getting his cell set up as well. He's making some pegs and that up the top end. 
sorry about the glare of the sun but look the sun is out but i i'm uh, finally set up and uh, i'm just going to quickly show you obviously uh, during the time lapse i had to take my top down because my axe was going to hit it and i didn't want to put my axe through the top and rip it all otherwise i would have had nothing to be under the night or tomorrow so anyway here's my bed look dun 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 there we're gone it's a uh, it looks high off the ground compared to what I normally have it, but it's actually knee height and it's all nice and level as well, which is great. So basically what I've done, just excuse me, charger. So basically what I've done is I've put four posts up the sides, put my spacer bar in between the two of the uh, the, the main bars, or create the crossbars that go through the actual canvas. And as you can see, Play tunes on that <laughs> the other side's not as tight like but this is going to be uh possibly my headset hand end i'm not 100 sure yet i might sleep at end actually but uh yeah so just looking all i've done is right i've put prusik knots uh, sorry not prusik knots i not prusik knots sorry i've put canadian jam knots on there all right and uh same on this and that keeps this centre bar down as well so when it comes to going home obviously I'll take my canvas off I'll not leave this here I just lift these up and then slide slide out my me, um, me canvas and that's it and then just when I come back put it back like that and that's it works a treat so now anyway, let's have a look and see what it looks like on with me on it I mean let's put my camera on my stand Ah, now it's the test. So first of all, before you do these, always test it What's sitting on your post. <laughs> and then go into your centre. Oh, that's nice, that. It is a little bit slacker on this side, like. Oh, I might put me, I might put me uh, head at the other end. Because I, that feels like I'm going down slightly. But I can easily adjust that at a later date. And if I go on this side, oh that's much comfier much comfier on this side here and uh, yeah obviously I've got the wind coming in this way so I might put my head at that end tonight just just in case but what I've done is at the end there I've put me me magic carpet up so it's acting like a wind barrier for the whole of that back that, that side there but tomorrow what I'll do is I'll start building a wall up on that side and if I've got enough poles, obviously I want to try and keep some poles to one side as well to make a bed for Rooney as well um, at some point. But uh, we'll see what see what goes on like. And uh, yeah, it's all going well. It's going well. But anyway, enough waffle. And uh, when I talk about waffle, thank you very much for all your amazing comments on me. Um, my video when I announced about my ma passing away. It's greatly appreciated. There was a lot of love and a lot of um, lovely comments coming from you all. So thank you very much, everybody. All right, really appreciated that. So anyway, I right, crack on, get some more stuff done, organize my kit. I might as well get my bed made up and all that as well. Get my kit sorted out and uh, then go and get some firewood. I might bring his along for that, I might not. It all depends. All right, see you in a bit. Well, I'm just about to start getting me sleeping system set up on the bed, ready to go. And tonight I'm gonna to be using the Snug Pack Special Forces bivvy. I haven't brought out the, uh, the big British Army one tonight. And then inside of there is gonna be me Nemo Tensor, regular mummy. I love this, it's absolutely fantastic. And it does fit in there as well with a sleeping bag. And then for my pillow, I've got my Flex Tail Gear Light pillow. But a new sleeping bag, I've had a sleeping bag sent out by a company and it's called Queezer. I think it's Queezer. And anyway, that may be back to the front we use. Um, so they kindly sent this out to us. It's a, um, a duck down sleeping bag. I think it goes down to about, well, I haven't got my glasses on here, like, but I think it goes down to about zero degrees or something, or minus two or something like that. Um, I'll have a little bit of a look later on 
and I'll talk about it possibly tomorrow after I've tested it out. So it comes in a nice stuff sack. It's nice and light as well, really light. Um, obviously, it'll compress a lot better as well. And uh, yeah, the stuff sack's not too bad, like. And it's it's in there. It's like a, a black, black and orange by the looks of it. I'm not going to take it out just yet, like, because I need to get the rest of my bag, my system set up first, and then I'll take this out and have, we'll have another look of it. But I, it's um, it's going to be something different. And if it's crap and uh, it's keep, it keeps it doesn't keep us warm during the night, I've always got me me down pants and I've got me buffalo with us as well. So. But I'm going to test this, go and uh, sleep with this and just me, me boxers and me t-shirt tonight to see what it's like. Because the winds are going to drop down tonight and then about 1 o'clock in the morning they're going to pick back up again with about 30, 40 mile an hour winds. Hence why I've got that cover on the side of the top. But anyway, I'll get this set up and I'll see you later on. I'm looking forward to testing this out actually. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right you and Right, well, that's the fire pit done The sun is going down, so I need to start thinking about getting some wood Like, I've got about half an hour, 40 minutes before it starts getting dark But I, the fire pit hasn't went as good is what it did last week. Sorry about all the camera action. I've got bloody wires and everything gone in the way here. Three, two, one. Yeah, so the fire pits, it's workable. It'll do for tonight. It's nice soil under there as well, as you can see. All right, so it's nice, nice soil. So I'm gonna keep all that pile of soil for uh, doing other stuff with. But uh, tomorrow I'll do the fire much better and uh, it'll do for tonight. Rooney's just went down into the old woods, which is just across there, to go and start cutting up some firewood. And uh, I'm gonna go and join them, and uh, we'll see how much we can get. We've got lots of little bits up here already, so it's not too bad. I just didn't want to cut up all them poles that I dragged over, because they'll be used for building stuff, like walls and Rooney's bed and things like that. So anyway, I'm going to shoot off, get some firewood. I'm not going to bring you along for it. You just know where I go. I go shopping in another woods for it. And I'll be coming back with a couple of bags for life full of wood. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, well, hi everybody. And as you can see, I've got me, me partner in crime sitting next to us. Um, I thought I was coming out on a solo and he surprised us and tipped up. But uh, I got a shock of my life actually when he tipped up because I was had me top up at the time. <laughs> But uh, we've been collecting some firewood. We haven't got a lot, like, to be honest. And uh, probably be enough there for tonight because it's already nearly half past seven at night already, isn't it? And uh, Rooney's just informed us that I've set my bed up in the wrong location because the winds are going to come from that direction all the time. <laughs> but I'll sort something out. I'll put a barrier up. Um, just build a castle wall. Round the place, you know. Aye. <laughs> well, it's got a nice ditch there, so there's me moat. <laughs> but aye, Rooney's popped out for one night and one night only. And... Uh, yeah, got day release. Aye. So, but I'm drinking some... What's that, that, that hooch stuff that you give us? I call it... Huel. 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 Alcohol. He, he gives us he gives a bottle of some homemade spirits at Christmas, so I'm, I'm I've brought that out for me me two nights of drinking. So anyway, cheers everybody, cheers Rooney, happy days. I hope it's not like the last time we drank that stuff because uh, he tried to give us these dirty knickers. Aye, I think I got pissed on it, didn't I? But I'll take my time. It's a full moon. I can see it coming through the trees. Um, the wind, the wind's north calmed down now, like, but apparently it's going to pick up to 40 mile an hour again about 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'll probably get a rude awakening. But I, we're going to get the fire started soon. I'm going to be making a, um, a corned beef hash. I'm going to be doing a Rick T outdoor special, and I'll try not to make it like soup though, Rick. 
Yeah. Because <laughs> it's all, he always seems to make it a bit soupy. So, but I've got a cunning plan how to not make it soup, like soup. So, and obviously I've got enough if Rooney wants a bit of a swell because I've, I've got plenty. I so I was just going to make a big pan of it in any way and have some tomorrow uh, for dinner. And well, so, well, if the one thing is, if you're going to make it anemic like Rick's was, I didn't want any. No, it'll be thick, mate. Because oh, right, I've, right. I've got I've uh, got flour in that there from the other week. Right. So we can always make some flour up and things. But aye, that's where I'm going to be having tonight. And then well, I'll supervise. Him. Well, he can he can supervise. I'll make it, and if he likes it, he can have some. And then when he makes his noodles and that, I'll have some seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, tomorrow, um, obviously I went to a butcher's near here. And uh, I went and got myself a, a buffalo steak and a zebra steak. Never had them before. So I thought I'll give them a bash. And I bought some nice little sausages as well. Um, so I'll be having them tomorrow. The steaks. And I've got some nice big mushrooms and some... Uh, some nice potatoes. potatoes. I forgot to get some butter and I forgot to get some steak, um, what do you call it? Pep peppercorn sauce and that. You don't want peppercorn sauce if you haven't like a no, zebra no. or you want to be able to taste it. Oh, no, I want to taste it, aye. But I have got some new spice. It's got, I've got a, a Texican, a Texican? A Texas um, spice. Aye, it's all right. Like I had a, I had a little, I got it, a load of it on my finger the other day, and I taste so it was all right. Like, yeah, we're going to get the fire started, cause it's getting a little bit nippy, and I want some food. It is nippy. Aye, so like I say, we haven't got much wood. Like, but if I have to, I'll, I'll, I'll sacrifice some pools that I've got for to make Rooney a bed with. <laughs> <laughs> I might move my bed again tomorrow. Like, I might. Yeah. I'll see. I've got loads of big logs, so I can make a nice big wall there. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to make a, um, a wood storage and things. I've got tarpaulin, and then we'll see what we can do. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm waffling. Yes, anyway, how's your weekend going? Because I was just, uh, just starting to hit the chills. Fuck uh, them now, isn't it? It is, aye. Do you know what it is? I can't be asked. That's the worst thing is like I wasn't expecting to get the opportunity to come away the night so I hadn't prepared, it was just to ruffle, hide everything in a bag and um, minimum food. Mm -hmm. So I've actually got um, with us for an emergency is an army 24 hour ration pack and um, I've got some noodles that expired early last year so obviously in my <coughs> eyes to only gain extra flavour because they've marinated. Aye. Mm -hmm. I would say that like. So I've got um, some chicken which has been prepared in some soya sauce. A teaspoon, it's only one breast so it's mm -hmm. soya sauce. A teaspoonful of uh, potato starch. A quarter of a teaspoonful of um, bicarbonated soda. No. Yeah. Do you know when you run through all them ingredients there, someone actually asked on a comment, can you get Rooney to start doing all these, um, these ingredients and what you cook it for and what you put in? And then can I post it on the videos when you do cooks, when you cook proper food, like yeah. Chinese and all that, aye? So. Like I say, it's like you just see the cooking part of it, but Jimmy's aware of it. It's like a lot of the food is marinated. Like at home you could do it, yeah, but obviously it wouldn't it's taste more the same, hygiene. Would it? hygienic to do it at home, store it in the fridge and that and um, it just saves, like you say, it just saves a lot of the prep time you know like mm -hmm. now that we're building our own sort of shelter and that there'll be times where it is made on the spot but um, yeah it's just nice Aye. to have all the ingredients it's even like sort of chopping some of the veg up and that you know we can all do it here and plot on sort of thing mm -hmm. But when you can just get it out of a, a, a Ziploc bag and then just cook it, it you know, it just makes the process. It saves a lot of time and effort, doesn't it? It does. Whereas I'm going to get Rooney to chop all my veg up. Because <laughs> he, he likes putting them blue gloves on. 
And anyway, right, we're going to go. I might bring you back for the fire starting because it's just the same as normal. Um, and I might not. But you'll you see. Might. You'll see in the next few seconds <laughs> whether I have or not. <laughs> see you in a bit. <laughs> right, time to get the fire started. So I've got some uh, nice little bits of logs here. I'm going to use these for a fire layer. And then I've got some Rooney's fire doofas. I know there's a few years asking in the comments off my last video, um, where can I purchase these from? Well, Rooney makes them myself, okay, uh, at home. But what happens is um, he doesn't sell them. He made loads of batches and he gave me a load of tins. And uh, I've, I've given some away to people when I've met up with them and things. And that's... That's the only way you're going to get them if you meet up with us. So, unless Rooney wants to start making them and selling them, and if he does, then I'll let you know. All right, you know, it's just for like a, um, a bit of keepsake sort of thing for the channel. You know, but basically, I'm just going to break it up, put it on, on the log, and then let's see if it'll take a spark. There you, there you go, and oh, nearly. There we go. Easy as that. So just let it let it catch for a little bit first. Let it get some momentum. And just get a, a nice little stick there. Just put that over the over the back look. And now we'll get some of these little fine sticks. And just spread them out over the top. And them should them should take nicely. Actually, we're going to move that stick. We don't need it. And then get me stuff, put them in my pockets so I don't lose them on the fire. And then we just got to wait for that to work its magic and get through these little sticks. As you can see, it's starting to work there now. I can hear the little snap, crackle and pop now, so that's happy days. And there we go. Got some nice flames coming through there now. Yeehaw! And then we'll start getting some thicker stuff. I should have had another batch of the little stuff, like, that would have been better. And we'll just start getting some other sticks. Put them across. There we go, and look at And there you go. One easy fire using Rooney's fire do fars. Yeah, man, and only the one of them as well. Right, well, that's my food done. I'm just getting it off the fire and coming round. And uh, yeah, we've got a nice pan full of food here. I need me serving spoon from out of me little Heidi place. So um, yeah, so we made a hash, a corned beef hash tonight. So Rooney's gonna eat out of this. Rooney might wanna put your gloves on because the handle might be warm, mate. 
all right and uh let's just have a a quick stir oh it's nice and nice and thick that's not looking like soup i'll bring his in closer and uh it smells finger delicious so what you're trying to see is not like a cheap rick tease <laughs> <laughs> rick yari's rick son I, rick <laughs> Oh. It hasn't got any cheese uh, of cheese or oh, to mention cheese about Rick when Rooney's around because nah. he, you know, Rick, you, Rick only eats it on the secret. Like I know, right? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just pour, put some stuff on off camera slightly. So here we are. It's here. Look, that looks really nice, doesn't it? it? It's it's thickened up a bit. What we've done is for the last 10 minutes, we've put some uh, flour and cold water mixed and then put that in. And what that does, Rick. Are you listening, Rick, mate? It thickens it up. But what you've got to do when you pour it in, you've got to stir it for about two minutes. Look, and it gets it nice and thick instead of looking like water. So anyway... And I'm going to do a scoop of life. This has got onions, carrots, and uh, potatoes. Potatoes! And I really likes these carrots, so I'm going to give them extra. Yeah, mix. Is that enough? That's enough for me, mate. And then I'm going to get me a little, it's, it's like a dog bowl, this. It's just a lid off one of the pans we've got. And then, uh, obviously, because I'm, I've am i been grafting all day, me. It looks better in the bowl than what it does in the pan. But, uh, yeah, there's going to be enough there for like a broth in the morning or oh, in the afternoon. Nice. It's really nice, huh? Aye, we've done a good job, haven't we? I think it's Do you want any more juices? Not that, that's enough. I'm just going to put mine on there for a second. Right. We haven't got a lid for this, so I'm just going to put it underneath my tripod. All right, I'll just lift my camera up a bit. You know. Even with the, whoa, 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 my power packs just nearly went in the fire. I'll put that under there for now. So I'm just going to put the pan underneath my tripod so it really doesn't knock it over. And uh, there, we, enjoy this. there we're gone, everybody. A nice pan of corned beef hash. Finger licking good. So now anyway, I'm going to sit down on my chair. Sorry about the fingers in front of the screen. But uh, the onions before we put it in this. Aye. So what we what we've done is Rooney's went and chopped all the stuff up, and then. I've went and fried off the onions to caramelise them a bit. And then we've added them into the pan with the taties and the carrots. Put the carrots on the bottom of the pan. Um, and then put in an oxo cube, a beef stock. Two oxos. Two oxos, sorry. And then we've added some tomato ketchup. And then we've let it cook for a couple of hours. And uh, then we've added in a little small cup with some cold water and some flour mixed. Let's give that a good stir, pour it into the pan and then stir it for about two minutes to let it thicken up nicely and then it's ready to eat. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the juices to get the full taste. Oh yeah, I'm getting a, um, I'm getting a slight taste of... Um, the forest and oh, what's that? What's that other bit there? I've got there. Yeah, uh, I'm getting a nice taste of the forest and the run of water going past us from the left hand side. What are you getting, Rooney? It's fucking lovely. Stop swearing. <laughs> Sorry. So now I'm going to try a little bit of carrot. Oh. Still got a nice little bit of crunch to the carrots, like having the mm. uh, nice um, but I um, the corned beef's nice and uh, displaced inside of the juices. Anyway, I'm talking a load of shite. So the onions, on onions, have given the sweetness. They have I've got a, a sweet aroma. Ever. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say what I'm saying in my head. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get this and eat it because it's bloody finger licking good. The only thing I have got missing is some 
nice chunky bits of bread to dunk into the juices but it'll make something nice to drink later on and hopefully it doesn't squirt all over in the morning <laughs> sorry I'll take that bit out <laughs> anyway I'm going to get that and eat that Rooney's nearly finished his because he's an animal and uh, I'll see you either later on or in the morning because it's, it's getting late now like actually it's um, quite past 11 at night Rooney's had about three snoozes the day and uh, yeah, waffle, Old waffle. Age is in. Old age is creeping in. No, you wait. I'll see you later. Right, well, good morning, everybody. It's seven o'clock. And uh, I've been awake for about an hour and a bit. I've been dozing on and off since about four o'clock. Woke up for an old man pee because I forgot to go to the toilet before I went to bed. And uh, yeah, I've just been dozing off and off and just daydreaming about building shelters. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's right. The sun's arising. I can see it through the trees in the distance there. I don't think the GoPro will pick it up like. But you, you can just about see it. I think it can, but uh, yeah, I was just lying here before and I was watching the, the squirrel just running around up and down the trees and all that, and uh, the bird life's just been acker this morning, like it's been like proper, proper active. Bloody comfortable sleep, and obviously I'm just down into my t-shirts, and uh, this sleeping bag worked a treat, like I could feel the draft coming from the from my head end still and uh, now I'm sitting here with my arms and my chest out of the seating bag I can definitely feel the chill and also I didn't notice but this sleeping bag is, isn't um, a mummy shaped it's a square shaped and it just makes you feel like you've got loads of room at your feet as well and what I like about it is the hood and you cinch it right in which I did and it pulls the, it pulls the, um, the top of the sleeping bag in as well the only thing that's missing is a baffle inside. I like to grab a hole or something inside of a sleeping bag to, to snuggle in to into your, into your neck properly. That's the only that's the only thing that's missing for this sleeping bag. But other than that, wow, I'm I'm impressed. Like really impressed because I've got me um me buffalo jacket and that inside the bag as well because I keep all my electrics inside of there on a night time and my gas bottle. And I've had plenty of room, I've had that pushed right down at my feet. And it's never interfered with me sleeping whatsoever. But when you're in a mummy bag, that can cause problems when you're putting stuff inside your sleeping bag with you on a night time. But yeah, really impressed. So we'll see how it goes tonight. Um, Rooney's, Rooney's heading back home today as he's at work tonight. So. And I'm just going to crack on, get some bits and pieces done around camp. I only need to try and find, I've been lying here thinking, I think I need three long poles. And I sh if once I find them, I should be able to start the roof section. Um, and we'll see how it goes from there. Like, just one step at a time. Even if I just get the frame up, uh, that would be ideal a day. And then obviously I'll need to collect firewood for the night. Didn't burn all the wood that we got last night as well, so that's even better. Having this hardwood to use for firewood is much better. You don't go through as much wood. Plus, my fire pit's tiny. So, and it, and it gave off a good bit of heat last night as well, at times, when the wind calmed down. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to drag myself out of bed, and I'm going to get a brew on. And then this morning, I'm going to have um, a couple of sausages, a couple of eggs. And I think I've got a tin of bacon grill as well. I've got no wraps, no bread. I forgot to bring them. So devastated. I just have to eat them like that. And I haven't got any beans or anything. Right, enough waffling. Time to get my arse up and start getting myself sorted. But there's definitely a, a westerly breeze this morning. 
So yeah, I let him make a barrier wireless well. Right, I am going into waffle mode. See you later. Right, well, I've already had a cup of tea and now it's time to get myself a couple of sausages and a couple of um, eggs on the go. Uh, Rooney's still in bed and I'm starving, so I'm just going to get cracking. So I'm just going to cook on the gas fire this morning, which is a really good gas fire. And I've brought these little snip, snip things up so I can pick the pan up properly. And uh, yeah, hopefully it should work all right. I'm using my little spatula that I made a few weeks ago. I'm just gonna turn that down a bit actually. And then obviously I went to the butchers yesterday and I got some um, exotic steaks and I got these two sausages. And uh, yeah, two sausages, it looks like one. But, and then I've got me the eggs in here as well so I've never cooked in this pan lid before like this and uh, it's looking a bit a bit dodgy like maybe I should have just done it in the in the big frying pan but I'm going to test these things probably a little bit too much oil in there like but uh, obviously, because I'm on a gas gas kind of uh, gas stove, the, the middle's going to get a little bit hot. So I'm just going to keep moving it around. And uh, I should have tried splitting them first. But I'll do that later off camera, Jimmy. The joys of having a sharp spatula that you've carved yourself. Yeah. Yeehaw. They're browning off quite nicely already then. I've only got on a little heat as well. And turn the heat down a bit. Cook them nice and slowly. Right, well, there you have it. They're a bit mucky, the eggs like, but that's what happens when you cook them in the same fat as the sausages. And uh, I'm just gonna have a try of these sausages now. Like, they've got a little bit of spice to them. I can't remember the name of them. But they've got like a, a, a very chilly spice, I think this, uh, the lad said. So, look like they're cooked all right. Well, you can off smell the spices in them, like. Hmm, not that spicy. They've got a nice taste of them, a bit of ketchup on. Not bad. Eggs seem better days like, but eggs, egg. But I, I'm gonna enjoy this. And I'm gonna get the kettle back on, make another brew. And uh Get started. Oh, never used this knife for quite a while. Oh, I've got this given off a subscriber. Oh. Cheers, mate. I've this gift package years ago with loads of stuff. And I've never, never ever used this. Well, I have a couple of times, but not for a long time. This is me little sharp eating there uh, knife for when I have steaks and things. Mm. Yeah, I think the sausages are cooked perfect.
No. Squirrel running past over there. Been busy the squirrel in here the day. But anyway, I'm gonna get this. I'm getting my gas stove back on, have another brew. Uh, Gromley will probably be waking up with the smell of food in the air. And then for dinner the day, I'm gonna finish off the hash, uh, corned beef hash that I made last night. It'll be more like a, um, a soup, I think. Um, so I think most of the lumpy parts came out of it, but it'll be something nice, hot and warm to eat later on this afternoon. I'm going to go hunting for some cross beams and get started on me on me actual roof build. And uh, we'll see where we'll go from there. So Rooney's away home the day, so he'll just be chilling out this morning. And uh, I'm just going to get cracking because I'm not sitting around all day. I've got things in my head that I want done. And I would like to have a roof up over the top of the bed before I go home tomorrow. The weather is looking like it's going to be changing into really horrible heavy rain on the forecast so I want to try and get as much done today as possible and if I can get a get a bit of a barrier wall going up at the side as well and anyway waffle waffle I'm gonna enjoy this I am actually enjoying this like egg and sausages in the morning instead of porridge lovely jubbly mm -hmm. Right, well, hi everybody. It's a couple of hours have passed. It's now half past 11 in the morning. So I had me breakfast and that had another cup of tea after that. And then I've just been doing a little plodding on, doing a bit of graft off, off uh, camera, just looking for some dead stand and stuff and stuff that's fell over. So I've got these here. So I've got three nice poles down here. Yeah, sorry about the glare of the sun on the camera there. It's, it's turning into quite a nice day actually. Dro sun's dropped off and it's sunny so that's happy days so i've got three poles here one will be used as pegs possibly this thin one and then we're going to possibly be two cross beams now i've just went and cut this off from a tree that's fallen so i've just got to delimit properly that's going to be my cross beam it's a bit thick on that side but it's actually very light it must have been dead for ages and then I've got this bit at the bottom that I've cut off that I'll use for a peg but uh, yeah it's, uh, this tree here so there was a tree here that was dead dead stand so I cut that off and then I seen this fell over so I went and cut this and what I'll do is I'm going to come back and get all these little limbs that I've cut off, all the small branches, and then we'll get snapped up for firewood the night. But then I've still got all this. It's lovely and dry, that like. Beautiful. So I'm going to cut that right off at the root, down the bottom, and that'll get processed for firewood tonight. So that's happy days, like. Happy days indeed. That's a nice chunk of wood there. There's a few other dodgy trees further down the bottom there, but I'll have a good look and make sure that they're falling over or they're dead before I uh, take any of them down like so um, Rooney's just been chilling out this morning he's had a cup and that but obviously he's back to work tonight so he's just busy getting packed up as you can see outside it's bloody lovely see how the mountains in the background <laughs> Be beautiful views from out, out there you know over the hills, but as soon as I take this out there, it's just gonna show up key areas. But anyway, um, yeah, so like I say, Rooney's just up there, so I was spinning the camera around like a loony. Rooney's just up there camp, uh, getting decamped, and I'm just got my stuff. So basically, what I'm looking at doing is I'm gonna get my cross beam and I'm gonna tie it up about just over head height because I wanna be able to stand underneath my shelter. So that's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna get a couple of posts. I'm gonna take my top down. I'm gonna risk it and take my top down. I'll just lay it over my bed in case it rains. And then I'm gonna put a couple of posts in the back, dig them into the ground, put another cross beam across that. So then I'll have my crossbar coming down to the top of there. And then I'll build a wall at the back. And then obviously because my top, my ridge pole is gonna be so high, I could do the same on this side put a couple of posts in put some slats coming down to make the porch area so the porch area will probably come about just a little bit further forward than what this the top is at the minute i can see it in my head i hope you lock on as well i'm hoping to get that frame done today 
because like I say it's half past 11 now I've got some wood left over and by the time I've got all my cutoffs and everything I should have enough firewood for tonight uh, cook two exotic steaks a bit of onion some mushrooms and some potatoes um, uh, I've got some like uh, Tex Texican spice but I'm not sure if I'm going to use them because I want to taste the, the steaks and see what they taste like natural and also for dinner in about an hour and a half's time to two hours time I've still got some uh, corned beef hash in the pot there but as you can see I've still got loads of little bits there to burn tonight so I need to snap them up and then I've uh, been keeping a few of my wood chips and then I've got a nice little pile of wood down at the back there as well so and anyway I'm going to stop waffling I'm going to get some graft done I'm going to deal in that post properly get all my stuff my uprights and everything done so I'm not mucking around and then uh, take my top down and get the cross beam up hopefully I'll try and get everything prepped ready before Rooney goes so he can give us a hunter uh, so I can get it tied up onto the tree and put a bar underneath it waffle waffle as I do and you all say that you like as waffling in my videos because you've all said it in the comments and your comments sorry so I'm going to crack on with the waffling <laughs> it keeps us sane see us later Right, well, as you can see, I'm busy um, cutting loads of wood, getting ready to put my ridge pole up. And uh, Rooney's all packed up and he's having to head off because obviously he's out at work tonight. So Rooney, cheers for turning up. I um, was all right turning up because uh, you suddenly couldn't cut the vegetables properly. <laughs> <laughs> so I turned up and what's the first thing I do? Oh, we need firewood. And I'm not even supposed to be here. Well, oh, Rooney, um, I'm not very good with chopping veg. <laughs> Well, the thing so is, I had to get you to do something, mate. You couldn't just come here and sit and watch me do everything. Wait, if you're yeah. here, you're going to muck in, mate. So as oh. simple as that, if you didn't muck in, go and camp in the field <laughs> while the coos. Anyway, <laughs> Aye. Um, yeah, everybody had, I hope you had a great weekend. And uh, until next time, I'll see you around. Aye. Take care. Watch you what you're doing on your way back, mate. It's a canny hike. So, all right. Right, right. see you later, mate. Right, so that's me. Well, I'll just explain what I'm doing. So basically, I've took all my top down, all right, and that's covering all my bed and all my gear underneath it. And then I've cut these posts. I've got one here, one over the far side. They're going to be beams, and I'm going to put some um, Canadian jam nuts, and I'm going to put one up against this tree and one up against that tree. Then what I'll be able to do is lift my cross beam up, rest it on the top of there, all right, and then I'll be able to tie that off against the tree as well with a few few uh, Canadian jam knots and lots of other types of things just to make sure they stay there. Once I've got that done, then I'm going to um, look at my bed. And uh, what the thing is, I don't want the shelter going right the way to these trees. I want it to come in a bit closer to where the bed is. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to move my top, adjust my poles. Obviously I've got the, both the fat ends at this side so I need to see how far through the canvas they go and then cut off all the, the um, excess bits that I don't need. All I need is it to come out of about here really. So all that will be getting cut off, same side and then the same on this side as well because I'm going to have me, me head, me, the wall of my shelter on the side going down here in between the two trees and that's it. Oh, right, I talk the talk, now I've got to walk the walk. <laughs> I love building me, you know. Next time you see me doing anything, we'll probably be on a time lapse, to be quite honest. All right, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs>